Well, D-Max has had a bit of a birthday this season. As you can see, it looks a bit different. We've got a new ball bar floating on the front of there and a new snorkel and some new uh, fancy mirrors there from Clearview. So we'll go for a bit of a walk around my truck and I'll show you what everything is and does. Okay, on the front here you can see we've got this new fancy looking bull bar. It is an off-road animal apparently, and let's face it, it's an off-road animal. Got some XTM light bars which fit in there like it's made for the light bars. We've got a winch set in the bull bar all time. On the front we've got the Uniden fancy aerial, also with the little mod that when you want to park undercover, which you know we're not going to fit anyway, but hey, you can fold your aerial down. How good is that? And underneath here we've got some kick-ass adjustable shockies, that's the bomb. Brown Davis bash plates right through and obviously underneath we've got the big long range Brown Davis fuel tank as well. And that makes solid stuff. Rims, don't leave home. Good set of ROH full drive rims, alloy rims. What can you say about a rim? They look good, they're tough. You can see here we've got a brand new version 2 clear view mirror and they are all time. They're smaller, more compact, still the big vision, split screen, pull telescopic out so they're not the big, they look good. Indicators on them and they're still powerful. So when a tree goes boom, you push a button inside and it goes boom all by itself. There you go. And whilst we're on about the clear view gear, we've got awesome ground clearance and then boom. We've got electric side steps, and they are tough as nails. You can't break them, I'm telling you. Whilst I'm up here, we've got some stuff hanging on the roof. Obviously, Rhino Rack gear. All brand new, stylish, super light, all alloy. XTM light bar hanging off the roof, a big kick-ass one. Let me tell you, I've got some serious light happening at night. We've got solar panel. We've got uh, extreme max tracks hanging on the roof. All top. Now, on the back, Obviously, my same canopy from Norweld, and it's the toughest canopy in the business. There is just no, no doubt about it. I've got the rooftop tent and gear hanging on the top of mine. Jason's got a tinny on top of his. We go off road, we cane hell out of them. They do not crack ever. Kick ass toolboxes as well. And we've got a fancy new range of Dometic fridges going on. As you can see, I've got mine a bit grubby already, but let me tell you, it's awesome. Dual zone thing, freezer, fridge, the whole nine yards. I've got that set up in my uh, easy slide. Clear view, easy slide, drop down slide. So it comes out easy, drops down easy. And have a go at this little gadget. Flexible cable saver here. Hook your cable to it. Saves your cable getting all pinched. Worth its weight in gold. So that's my drop down fridge. Awesome. Pop that away in about two seconds. Got a mile of red arc gear in here. I've got, uh, got my inverter here, which turns my um, 12 volt to 240 volt. I've got a compressor and a hose reel in there. Pump up all my tyres, the switch. It's awesome. You might be wondering at this fancy little snorkel I've got hanging out there. It looks very, uh, very factory. It's a fats built snorkel. Lots of intake, works well. And Rhino Rack. And let me tell you, Rhino Rack gear is all time, but the best thing that they've ever done for me is this new shovel hole. You watch this. Jay says, Simon, you got the shovel to do some cooking, or Simon, come and dig us out of a hole. Instead of undoing the nuts and all the gear, I just go boom, boom, and I'm good to go. And then I put it away, it's just boom, done. It's, I can't tell you how good that is. Okay, inside here, we've got all uh, some fancy mod cons, seat covers, as you know, I'm a bit of a grub. I've got the super fit seat covers, <laughs> save, save my seats. You know, I've got this fancy little EVCX throttle controller here. Takes that lag out of the car when you first put your foot on the gas. HEMA Explorer and Navigator up there, it's great. And it's console, Uniden radio. And then we've got a couple of GoPros hanging up here, which is pretty handy. And they've got this new remote, so I just push the button on the remote and my GoPros come on. The camera guys have got the uh, GoPros out at the moment, backing up the footy. A couple of awnings up. We've got a, a bat wing on the other side, and I've got a sun seeker on this side. This one just pulls out, that one wraps around when I haven't got a trailer on the back. And in my canopy on this side, that's who we've got going on. Actually, don't look too close in this side, there's a bit of mess in this side. There's stuff, more stuff. So, as you can see, I've got heaps of storage in the canopy. I've got big 
pull out drawers, we've got food there, food for all the boys and everyone in there, behind the scenes sort of stuff. Fishing rod and helmet, and spare sleeping bag, and a drawer full of tools, and you just get at everything real easy. You know? And then hiding up in behind my stuff in here, we've got the big Red Arc Manager, Manager 30. That basically takes the solar, takes the input from the batteries and turns it all and sends it everywhere it needs to go and charges my batteries and runs my fridge and does the whole nine yards. There's some serious wiring that goes into these canopies and Jake from Tactical Tours, the young fella is a legend at it, let me tell you. So there you go, that's old Maxie. She's been uh, one hell of a tough little uh, full drive for me over the last three years. I tell you what, I can't complain. I'm still pumped with it. A little revamp this year. Been bloody good. Happy days.